Time is 1148. We are dealing with beautiful weather across North Alabama. Nothing to complain about this week. Rob, I was able to actually do some touch-up painting on my deck because you know, we know, had a little break in the rain and the beautiful yeah. weather, the mm -hmm. sun's out. It's great. And some nice dry air too. So this is a really nice time of the year. Of course, fall and season about to take off, but I tell you what, it doesn't get much better than here uh, this Thursday afternoon. We're also uh, seeing our brand new Sky Camera. This is part of the Tops and Roofing and Construction Sky Camera Network. Just debuting this here at 11 o'clock. That, of course, is the Space and Rocket Center. There's that Saturn V. There's I-565. So glad to have another Sky Camera. We're to continue to add more sky cameras onto our camera network here this spring. 70 degrees right now in Huntsville. That was as of the 11 o'clock update 50 minutes ago, so maybe closer to 72 already. Nice uh, calm winds right now, likely just a little bit of a west wind heading into your Thursday afternoon. And of course, uh, it's that time of the year where we're really starting to see all those spring sports uh, really taking off. So some great weather for softball, baseball, soccer, you name it. Temperatures right around 77 degrees at 3 o'clock this afternoon, just dropping off a hair heading into the 4 and 5 o'clock hour. And if we hit 77 today in Huntsville, that would miss the record high by 1 degree. But I think it is definitely possible that we could at least tie the record of 78 degrees set back in 1983 again for today. It's even possible maybe some warm spots can make a run at 80 this afternoon. So if you're out and about enjoying this warm and sunny weather, uh, we're starting to see some of those blooms uh, occurring right now on some of the trees. This picture sent in by Tracy Bullard, magnolias and bloom and really starting to see a lot of that taking off with even some of the cherry trees right now. And of course, we're getting close to the azaleas about to bloom. So if you get a picture of that, make sure you hashtag that on any of the social media sites with hashtag AT. That's Alabama the Beautiful, Way 31, and would love to get that on air. What we are expecting for the rest of the day, of course, again, sunny skies continue all the way through this afternoon, clear skies through tonight. Tomorrow will be a little bit different. We're still expecting temperatures up into the mid 70s, but you'll notice that there will be a little bit more cloud cover. So we'll call this filtered sunshine for your Friday afternoon. Still enough sun breaking through that we're going to make it up to around 75, 76. And you'll also notice it's just clouds. We're dry on future radar through your Saturday morning and into your Saturday afternoon, but both Friday and Saturday coming with a little bit more more cloud cover. Then we head into Sunday and into Monday. That's when we start to see some rain chances by Sunday, late afternoon, Sunday evening, and then the chance for some heavier rain and thunderstorms by Monday. And that's with our next cold front coming in. Now at this point, it's still a little too early to tell in terms of strong to even severe thunderstorms, but there may be just enough of those ingredients in place that we could see a few isolated strong to severe thunderstorms. So just something you need to follow up on over the next three to four days as we approach Monday. So there's a look at Sunday afternoon. You'll notice that most of the rain being being held off to the west northwest. So a nice finish to the weekend, just a little bit more cloud cover. And then by Monday morning, you can see the cold front taking shape. This is 9 a.m. dry for that morning commute. But you can see the heavier rain off to the northwest where you see the yellows on the map. This is where we see the heavy rain and the thunderstorms by Monday afternoon. Cold front racing through by the evening hours and they're wrapping things up heading into your Tuesday morning. Should be dry for that Tuesday morning commute. Rainfall forecast all the way through the next seven days, anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch of rain. See those brighter blues on the map that's closer to about an inch of rain. Those uh, greens closer to about three quarters of an inch of rain. And on that seven day forecast, look at the temperatures. Even those overnight lows trending warmer, 51 degrees for a low by Saturday morning, closer to 61 on Monday morning, but that's due to the cloud cover and the moisture moving in with that cold front. And then after that cold front, back down to 57 degrees for a high on Tuesday.